the notion that leadership or the top or a small group of folks who grew up in a certain environment that worked for them will necessarily work for a current environment or a current generation of talent coming in, I think is a false notion. We have to recognize that what worked in the past may not have ever been perfect, candidly, or maybe we didn't have the capabilities to do it, or maybe things have just changed. It's almost the norm. And I think that that's what we're going to be seeing more into the future is we won't even, candidates won't even start questioning anymore. Oh, are you remote? Are you hybrid? Because it'll be an expectation. It's going to take a little while to get there, but we absolutely are evolving in that direction. The biggest increase we saw throughout the pandemic was the value of flexibility. So mm. this one, one of this, you know, whether it's one office, you know, one mm. set of values or whether it's kind of one policy, it's, that's, that's finished. That flexibility and that nuance to cater for difference. And that's the challenge in an organization. That, and, then, and that does require, as we've all said, a lot of listening. I think, you know, for the sake of, for the sake of the employee is to really think about what you're risking to force people back to the past. I mean, we can't relive the history, our past history to create the future.